Molly. Thankfully, the rain is over for today, but by tonight, you know, we're going to start to see more of it, and that's going to linger around the next few days. That's called a stationary front. It just doesn't want to move. 72 here in Des Moines right now, 75 up in Fort Dodge. So the temperature's starting to warm up a little bit, and it's definitely the air you can feel out there. Notice the dew point. This is the measure of the amount of moisture in the air. 64 right now here in Des Moines, 61 for Fort Dodge, close to 70 out around Council Bluffs. Anytime we're in the mid to upper 60s and around 70, that's when it starts to feel a little tropical out there. Live Super Doppler HD, there's the rain, at least what's left of it, off to the south of Highway 34. That's where it should stay as we head throughout the afternoon hours, and we might see a little bit more of that rain tonight. We did pick up a little bit this morning. North Polk, just over a half an inch of rain. Same with Ankeny. Shared it down to the south, about four tenths of an inch, as well as Ogden up in Boone County. Lamoni, just uh, about two tenths of an inch this morning. We have the clouds out there. The sun's been trying to peek out, hasn't been too successful at doing that. 72 here in Des Moines. Notice that humidity, though, 76%, so a very humid afternoon, thanks to that wind out of the south and southeast, pumping in some moisture from the Gulf. Here's your forecast timeline for the rest of the day. The temperature is going to be on the mild side, 78 by 3, 7 o'clock temperature, still the mid-70s, low 70s by 11, and then we'll see the rain move in very late tonight into tomorrow morning, 64 degrees, waking up tomorrow at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., already the low 70s. So there was the rain this morning, the clouds sticking around. We might see a few peaks of sunshine this afternoon, but I think for the most part, it will be a mostly cloudy day. There's a stationary front that's pretty much draped across uh, northern sections of the state, and it's just going to be hanging around over the next few days, again, showing us uh, what that stationary front's all about, keeping a rain chance in our forecast for the next few days. Forecast highs today, the warm weather down to the south and west. Look at that. Dodge City, Kansas today, 93 degrees, 79 in North Platte, 72 Rapid City. Close to 80 degrees in Kansas City today. So here's that stationary front going to be sliding through and then just sort of hanging around over the next 24 to 48 hours, bringing us scattered chances for rain tomorrow and all the way into Friday. Could even linger into Saturday, but I think uh, the Saturday into Sunday rain chance will come along with this system out to the west, and that's going to be a late chance of rain Saturday into the early part of the day on Sunday. Here's future cast. We're going to start things out 7 o'clock tonight. Showing a rain chance up in northern Iowa, but I think for the most part we will stay dry this evening. Better chances for rain after midnight tonight, and those will linger into the morning hours on Thursday, and then another chance for rain late Thursday. It's going to be scattered chances for rain, not a complete washout of a day, both Thursday and Friday as the stationary front sticks around. There is a slight risk of severe weather southwestern Iowa very late tonight. The moderate or enhanced risk of severe weather stays out to the west though, along an area of low pressure. So today, 78 degrees, that isolated rain chance tonight. Otherwise, just going to be a humid afternoon. 64 degrees tonight, a warm night seasonably. Eight-day forecast shows you, shows you the next three days. At least the temperatures are going to stay mild. 80 degrees both Thursday and Friday. Right now, the weekend looks mainly dry. Okay. Just a slight chance of rain late Saturday into Sunday. Okay. Those temperatures feeling like summer, and there's going to be some moisture in the air. So, yeah, I think summer's uh, making a comeback. It's here. It All is. Right. Thanks a lot, Frank. <laughs>